They have served our country, but who is serving them? Tonight, News Channel 8 health reporter Stephanie Strickland has a unit aid investigation, the underserved. A look at a critical problem facing our servicemen and women. No doctors willing to take them as patients. Steph? It's not that doctors have any sort of problem with people who are serving in the military, but a recent survey shows a shocking number of them are fed up with the way they get paid by the government. Wind them up, let's get out of Dodge. They made tremendous sacrifices for us and left families behind in the process. Welcome home. There are provisions to provide health care for these soldiers and their families. It's called TRICARE and covers about 9 million active duty, National Guard, reserve and retired patients and their families. But more and more, doctors are either decreasing or not accepting new TRICARE patients. Why? The reimbursement rates, which mirrors Medicare, are too low for their liking. And it's a problem everywhere, including right here in Oregon. I've been in the military for 18 years. With his distinguished military career, Staff Sergeant Theodore Fletcher is finally home, working out of the National Guard Armory in Medford. We went to, the battalion went to Japan, two-week-long annual training. And he served in Japanese Egypt, National served during Army. Hurricane Katrina, and other places. He likes TRICARE because he says it covers just about everything. So we get pretty much free prescriptions, no co-pays. Uh, my wife pays a little bit for her prescriptions. So it's a very good insurance. But he did not like the struggle he had finding a doctor who would take him and his family. There was a time period two, three years ago where we were scrounging to try to find anybody. And the picture isn't much better now. There's like one doctor that I know of in the Rogue Valley in Medford that accepts new patients with TRICARE. Oh, I know. Yeah, I've heard from a few people. Osteopathic physician Doug Eliason in Salem also has a rich history of military service. I joined the Army back in, in 1979. I served overseas in uh, Korea. I was stationed for two years. I was in Germany for four years. Uh, I'm a Desert Storm veteran. And after 9-11, this doctor also began to notice problems with TRICARE. But it wasn't until the war on terrorism started and we suddenly started mobilizing lots of soldiers that we start seeing the fractures in the system because the numbers jump markedly. The unbearable thought of fellow Salem soldiers and families going without ready access to care led Elias into Taylorist Clinic to serve as many TRICARE patients as came through his door. What we did here was unique and it, it was an ability to, for me to blend two worlds. I've loved the military and I've loved civilian medicine and this was an opportunity to kind of do both. TRICARE says in Oregon it's increased the numbers of doctors accepting TRICARE by 25 percent in the past two years. And that Oregon Senators Ron Wyden and Gordon Smith helped keep reimbursement rates from getting worse, at least through 2007. Anyone else here in the office? But others tell us this doesn't mean the problem is close to a solution. With an uncertain long-term funding picture, more soldiers coming home, and laws that allow them to stay on TRICARE longer, the need is outpacing the growth. Fire at will! potentially leaving a growing number of those who served underserved themselves.